On October 1, 2024, Iran launched a massive offensive against Israel, marking a significant escalation in the ongoing conflict between the two nations. As part of Operation True Promise 2, Iranian forces unleashed an arsenal of 120 ballistic missiles, 170 drones and 30 hypersonic missiles, including the newly deployed FATA-2. This unprecedented attack demonstrated the advanced capabilities of Iran's missile and drone technology, severely testing Israel's air defense systems. Among the 120 ballistic missiles used in the attack was the Emad, a medium-range ballistic missile MRBM, capable of hitting targets up to 1,700 kilometers away with high precision. The Emad's terminal guidance system allows it to adjust its flight path in the final phase, improving its accuracy and effectiveness. This missile, first used by Iran in 2015, is powered by liquid fuel and boasts a circular error probable CEP, of 50 meters, enabling it to strike critical infrastructure with notable precision. For the first time in the Iran-Israel conflict, 30 hypersonic missiles were deployed, including the FATA-2, a missile capable of traveling at Mach 13, 13 times the speed of sound. The FATA-2's ability to maneuver at high speeds makes it incredibly difficult for traditional defense systems to intercept. With a range of 1-400 kilometers, this missile represents a new level of threat, particularly to Israel's critical infrastructure, as it can evade most anti-missile defenses. Israel's renowned Iron Dome and Aero missile defense systems were put to the test by this large-scale attack. While these systems successfully intercepted some ballistic missiles and drones, the deployment of hypersonic missiles like the FATA-2 posed a significant challenge. Hypersonic weapons are extremely difficult to track and intercept due to their speed and maneuverability, which gives Iran a strategic advantage. So far, Iranian officials have claimed that 90% of the offensive's firepower reached its intended targets, though no official confirmation has been provided regarding the effectiveness of Israel's defense against the FATA-2. The integration of drones, ballistic missiles, and hypersonic missiles in this attack showcases Iran's evolving military strategy. The drones, numbering 170, were instrumental in disrupting Israeli detection systems, weakening the country's response capabilities. Meanwhile, the Ahmad ballistic missiles and FATA-2 hypersonic missiles were focused on strategic infrastructure, a clear indication that Iran's offensive was meticulously planned to overwhelm Israeli defenses. The Ahmad-1 used in the October 1st attack, is one of Iran's most advanced ballistic weapons. With a 1.25-meter diameter and a range of 1,700 kilometers, it is specifically designed for precision strikes. The liquid-fueled missile allows for adjustments before launch, offering flexibility in targeting. Its guidance system further ensures that it can hit targets with a high degree of accuracy, making it a key weapon in Iran's strategic arsenal. The introduction of hypersonic missiles like the FATA-2 in this conflict raises significant concerns for Israel's defense capabilities. These missiles' ability to change course mid-flight and evade interception highlights a growing challenge for anti-missile systems worldwide. The FATA-2's Mach 13 speed and advanced maneuverability make it a formidable weapon, capable of reaching its target in record time with devastating precision. The October 1, 2024, attack marks a turning point in the conflict between Iran and Israel, not only because of the sheer scale of the weaponry deployed but also due to the advanced technology involved. This escalation demonstrates Iran's capability to launch complex and highly coordinated offensives, combining drones, ballistic missiles and hypersonic missiles to push the limits of Israeli defenses. As both nations stand on the brink of further escalation, the attack serves as a stark reminder of the fragility of peace in the Middle East and the increasing reliance on high-tech warfare. With regional tensions at an all-time high, the international community's call for restraint grows louder, even as technological advancements and military strategy continue to drive the conflict forward.